Hi there folks and welcome once again to the channel. Um, I hope everybody is keeping safe and well and um, taking care of the most vulnerable around us at these worrying crazy times. Um, if you're wondering what I'm doing with this stick, we'll get to that point just now. Um, the reason for this video, the purpose for it, it, as you can probably gather, I'm back out in my garden, we're still under lockdown. And I was set the challenge by a guy called Jimmy Lund Larson earlier on in the week. And what he'd done, he tagged myself and um, somebody else in uh, taking a stick like this, processing it down and lighting a fire with it, um, shaving it down, doing whatever we want and uh, getting a fire going. Um, but yeah, it, it was good fun. If you want to check out Jimmy's uh, video of him doing that, the guy's called Jimmy Lund Larson. He's a very good friend of mine. I've met up with him on several occasions and had the pleasure of... Um, camping with a guy and he's spot on and his channel's called um, Lundy's Wild Camping and Bushcraft so I'll put a link to that channel in the description if you haven't subscribed already drop by and subscribe to the guy I think you'll uh, enjoy his content um, the second reason I'm out tonight in the garden um, on a lot of the Facebook groups that I'm involved with myself and Claire um, tonight they are doing a lockdown camp which is camping out in your back garden, camping down on your balcony, if you've got a balcony on your flat or apartment, um, camping out in your house even, setting up a tent, setting up a shelter underneath your kitchen table even, it's just a bit of fun and it's just something a lot of the people and a lot of the groups that we're involved in are doing, so we're out tonight doing that, so what I'll do, um, I'll put this to one side, we'll have a little look at our little setup tonight and then we'll get on processing this and uh, We'll bring you along for the night and then uh, enjoy it, hopefully. Here we have the 4.5 by 3 metre DD multi-camp tarp. And we've got uh, our camp bed from the bell tent set up under there with our sleeping bags. We'll have a little wander underneath here. So this is going to be home for the night. There's our bed there. We've got our little seating area just here. Our little seating area in front of the stove. We've got some firewood there, and we've got a little bit of firewood there. And we're going to uh, enjoy the night sitting out here in front of the stove, enjoying a few beers and just enjoying the night. Right, let's start off by cutting this into into sections. We're uh, going to use the trusty samurai saw as you probably know this is one of my favorite saws absolutely love the bit of kit right so let's get this cut up into sections and go for that thing here we are we've sawn the wood into sections we've got five in total and this is Deadfall Sycamore. What I'm going to do now is take the axe, we're going to cleft this into sections, and then uh, we'll take it to the next stage once we, uh, we achieve that. So we'll just put it all down there for the time being. We'll take the first piece. I'll just get something to batten the axe with. As you can see, the way I'm battening this, the axe is um, going away from me. So if we do have any accidents, um, the axe will swing through away from me and not into my leg. We don't want any uh, injuries. A bit of a knot in there and again the way I'm holding the axe as you could see there when that went the axe went straight into the wood which is into the chopping block which is what we want safety first right I'll carry on processing this and once I've got it processed um, I'll bring this back along and we'll take it to the next stage 
there we go we've got it all processed it's a, a little bit knotty as you can see in that bit there but uh, we just work with what we've got what I'm going to do now is um, we'll maybe take some shavings off this and have a go at carving some feather sticks and uh, hopefully we can use those to catch a spark and hopefully um, get this fire going so uh, we'll set the camera down now and we'll uh, we'll uh, start making some feather sticks right we've got a handful of the sticks what I've uh, processed where I've chopped up clefted and what we'll do we'll take one and we'll take some shavings from it and hopefully we'll see if we can get some uh, feather sticks taken out of it but it does seem a little bit um, too dry but we'll see what we can do there we're getting a couple of curls We've got a few, not the best feather sticks I've made in the past, made, but uh, we'll see where we, how we can get on with these. And we're getting a few curls there, uh, the camera picking that up. Not the best, but it's something. And we can gather these shavings, what we lose, and use them as well. Let's see how we get on with this one. Actually, a touch better. Oh, we like losing them there. Too heavy handed. Just finding the right spot. A few more in there, a few crumbs down there. What I'll do, I'll work my way through these and uh, we'll bring these back along because uh, it could be for a little while. Where I've taken the best of the feather sticks that I, I made and put them there along with the shavings, um, what I took off to bits of wood so we'll take the ferro rod and take the knife and we'll give this a go see if we can get it lit there we go at last splintery bits in where it's uh, actually gone out so it's uh, back for another go we'll uh, get rid of these we'll uh, get some more shavings and we'll bring these back again we'll have another go at this right we've made a few more feather sticks and uh, a few more shavings so we'll give this another go and see if uh, we can get it lit this time
put some flames there. And what we'll do, we'll see if we can get it in to the stove, like so. Lit. Just put it like that because we don't want to disturb it too much. These twiggy bits. There we go. We've still got a flame, we have still got a flame. I thought we'd lost it again then. That's better. Here we go, hopefully, third time lucky. We'll leave it uh, catch a little bit more here. What we'll do, we'll leave it, hopefully, catch where it is, then hopefully we can get it in the, in the firebox. Looks like we might have uh, struck it lucky this time. 
I'll leave that lid off there as well. We'll see if we can get this in there without, without losing it and putting it out. Leave that like that. We'll just feed some bits in from the top now until this takes, and then we'll push it further in. I think we've got it. Just goes to show persistence sometimes pays off, and nothing goes that straightforward all the time. Something that looks and sounds relatively easy doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be all the time. But yeah, I think we'll hit. I think we'll hit no dues. Just gently feed some of them in. Looks like we'll let now. Well, that was more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. Thank you, Jimmy. Much appreciated, mate. I enjoyed that. I really did enjoy that. And we'll uh, put these bits in and we'll leave that lid off for the time being till we know this is well and truly lit. There we go, you can, we can see that the fire is well and truly lit now. Um, that wasn't as straightforward as I thought it was going to be, it was a bit of a challenge. Uh, I think trying to get it inside the stove and disturbing it was wasn't probably the best idea but I'm not using that as an excuse it's uh, probably just a skill I could do with uh, practicing a little bit more of it never um, never hurts to practice skills so thank you once again Jimmy um, I really do appreciate tagging me into that but now I'm just gonna sit back chill and enjoy my time in front of this and spend the night out here. Claire's uh, coming down just now. She's uh, busy drawing. But uh, she's on her way out just now. But yeah, this is nice. Nice and relaxing. Here we are, Mrs. C's finally joined us. She's came out down to, to base camp and joined us here, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's a bit of a new experience camping in the garden, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Definitely, we just have to make the most of it. Yeah, we've just got to make the most of it and make the best of it. But uh, I hope everybody else that's joined, that's doing this is having a great time. Um, we're just going to chill and enjoy our time in front of the fire. And Mrs C's got a, a drink, haven't you? So we're just going to have a few beers and stuff. Um, I've been telling Claire about my failure to get the fire going it took me three attempts to get it going um so she'll see that when she watches this back <laughs> oh but yeah never mind i know never mind <laughs> we got there in the end we got there in the end but yeah we're just going to chill out and enjoy the night and uh and relax now aren't we yeah. <laughs> no it's actually quite a nice night we've got the uh, stars out it's quite a clear sky we've got the birds roosting and what have you um 
chirping and messing about, messing about. <laughs> birds messing about. But, uh, but yeah, it's nice. Well, we're out here and just it chilling, enjoying the uh, fire and just enjoy sitting chatting. And this week, both myself and Claire have been off on holiday, off work on holiday. Um, we were supposed to have been away um, to our caravan. And this year is probably the first time in probably about 20 years that we haven't been up to uh, Weirdale uh, for Easter. So, um, but it is where it is and mm -hmm. we can't do anything about it. And we've just got to do everything we can um, to mi minimise uh, the effects of this virus and fingers crossed what everyone's doing is um, is doing doing that and I think the vast majority of people are um, overall I think most people are um, but anyway um, this week while we've been off uh, we've done a couple of little projects um, we've had our um, daily exercise most days um, we've done a few work, done bits, jobs in the garden and stuff like that, but we've been out for a walk most days, but we've adhered to the guidelines um, regarding social distancing and stuff like that and keeping it local. And uh, we've had a few little things, we've done a few little things. We've um, made a dandelion salve, um, which is basically just dandelion heads. Um, we harvested those while we were on, out on our walk. Uh, making sure where we only took a few from each spot and leaving them leaving other flowers for the bees and other pollen insects um, but yeah and that's uh, dandelion heads that we uh, that we dried out in a sunny spot for for a day or so to get rid of some of the moisture and uh, then we put it in rapeseed oil put it all in the jar um, we put the dandelions in the jar we topped it with rapeseed oil and we put the jar in a pan of hot water and we simmered it for a couple of hours, extracted all the goodness out of the dandelions. Then we strained it and mashed, the oil, mashed it through to take the oil out. And then we put the jar back into the water with the oil in. And then we added beeswax, um, which has made a nice salve. And that's for our hands and it helps with things like the dry skin because as you probably know, at the moment everybody's constantly washing their hands and it's taking the oils out of our hands and drying them up so that's replenishing it and it's re it's working really well isn't it yeah it's good stuff and it's a beautiful yellow and i don't know how, how well the uh camera's picking up but we got our, our daughter to do the label on the artwork and we are absolutely amazed with that it looks fantastic and we do harvest a lot of things when we're out and about when we're foraging and whatnot for making teas and stuff but our grace has said uh, she'll do all our labels for us in the future didn't she yeah she did so we're quite pleased about that um and i've also been carving a few spoons some have worked out some haven't i've got one um in the house somewhere i've i was carving it and put a hole in it but I want to keep it because I'm going to use it as a template because I do like the shape of the spoon um, then I've carved this one but I don't like the shape so I'm not going to bother finishing that one I've done knot in it as well yeah I? it's got a knot and it's really seasoned wood and it's been uh, been terrible to carve um, so that's not going to that'll probably go on the fire on it firewood carved this little eaten spoon I don't know how well the uh, camera's picking them up in this light um, and when I was doing that that cracked there um, so that's no good so that again firewood then I carved this one which I'm quite pleased with a nice little bit of a crook in it and it's a nice shaped bowl different shaped bowl and that was out of um, carved out with birch that and the out of sycamore and that one there was cherry so that's silver birch 
and then I carved this one which I like the shape of and what I intend to do with this and is um, if you look at the shape of it and it's got quite a nice bolt I don't know how well the camera's picking that up um, what I intend to do with that is when I'm at camp front the fire top it up with whiskey and just sit there enjoying a whiskey <laughs> and I've put a like a feather design in the handle what I'll do I'll show you is again tomorrow in the daylight we'll have another look at these um, and then I carved this one which is like a little bit of a practical eating spoon and again we've got a crook in the uh, in the spoon itself to bring it up and this would be pretty cushy for cooking just stir in the pot um, tucking into your food and stuff like that and I've made that one for a friend of mine called Justin Jewell um, if you want to check out his channel here is North Hertz Bushcraft JJ I think that's it. I think I've got it right I hope I've got it right um, cracking channel cracking lad really nice bloke um, so that I've made that and that's going to be sent out uh, to Justin um, so if you're watching this Justin uh, I hope you put this to good use mate um, but yeah that was just something that we've done for passing the time this week isn't it mm -hmm. uh, and now tonight we're just chilling yeah, in the garden but we're going to put some more wood on this fire because it looks like it's uh, dying down a touch and we're just going to enjoy enjoy your beer Cheers. Cheers. There we go, amazing does that look. It does look pretty fantastic. It's nice just to chill. We hope everybody else who's doing this, camping in the gardens, is having a great time. We're just having a nice chilled night, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, Very chilled. We're uh going to stop the video here and we're just going to enjoy the rest of the night enjoy a couple of beers what, what are we drinking at the moment um, I'm drinking Sea Fury which is a really nice beer I'm enjoying that I'm just enjoying that fire that door's open now it's I know. nice and heat it does it's not when the door's open yeah. Right, we'll uh, get back to you in the morning. We're just going to enjoy the night. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. C. Good morning. Well, last night was absolutely fantastic. Totally loved it chilling out in the garden in front of the stove really good night a few beers and whatnot uh, we've been awake a while uh, just laid listening to the birds it's so peaceful absolutely loving it we're going to get up just now get a brew on and uh, get some food on the go probably fire up the stove again we'll see and uh, get some grub on because I'm pretty hungry yeah uh, I don't know whether we'll get the stove on or just do use the firebox or something. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to get up now. We won't put the camera on us because we probably look a mess. As I said last night, I'd show you um, my little carvings where I've done um, this week while I've been off work. We've got this one. We getting that? Carve that one, and if you can see carved like a feather pattern in the handle and I carved this one as well a bit of a wide handle so I'd show you today in the daylight because it was dark last night when I showed you some nice grain in that wood put that one on one side and then I carved this one too and as I said last night Look at the pattern in that, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to send this one off to Justin Jewell, JJ, 
North Hearts Bushcraft check out his channel I'll put a link in the description and there's our dandelion salve that's absolutely magic on your hands beautiful colour see how vibrant yellow that is yeah and thank you once again Jimmy for nominating me and tagging me in for doing this challenge um, I'm really pleased you did it was good and we've got Macy Dog coming over there you go who's this oi say hello oh, what are you doing you what are you doing you you want to cuddle I need to say bye bye say bye bye oh, Macy Uh, we had a fantastic night last night, totally enjoyed it. It was nice and chilled, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, um, just chilled in front of the stove and whatnot. Um, had a lay in bed out here this morning, listening to the birds, and now we've got some bacon and sausages on the go. So I'm quite hungry now, are you? Yeah. And the smell coming off here is absolutely amazing. Um, we hope you've enjoyed the video. As we all know, we are really limited in what we can do at the moment. We have got to do everything we can to stay safe, haven't we? Yeah, definitely. Um, so, we've just got to make the best of it and at the moment. Um, videos in the garden are probably going to be paramount. It's going to be probably the same for most people. We might be able to get a, a little video done on one of our walks. Um, but yeah. We just gotta do what we can do, haven't we? Yeah, just mess them up and keep it going up the garden. No, that's it. Um, we're gonna carry on cooking our breakfast and uh, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And we just like to leave it by saying to you stay safe and uh, just just enjoy what you can do, you know. Mm -hmm. Um and we're gonna we'll go we'll go now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waffling. <laughs> I'm too busy thinking about this. Right, we'll go now and thank you for joining us on this one. Bye for now. Bye for now. Stay, stay safe. safe.